Oh! Oh my goodness! That's a heavy box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection purchase video. You guys saw the huge box that we have. It's very dense, so there is a ton of stuff to look through here. I'm pretty excited about this one. We do have a quick giveaway. I will be giving away this JMP Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, just an amazing looking artwork, one of my favorite old school ones. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think this collection is worth. Let me know what I should have paid for it, and uh, that'll be interesting to see in the comments. Because this box is massive, I'm going to cut it open off screen and then I will put the cards onto the, you know, the camera here. So let's see. Okay, let's get these out of here. Uh, speaking of safe, these cards are everywhere. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. Uh, yeah, so um, hopefully those aren't the big cards because they're literally everywhere. So we have stacks on stacks of cards. Which is interesting. We have a sealed obelisk, the tormentor gold. That's pretty cool. I do like the gold rares. I mentioned that in every special edition opening. Which if you have not seen that, go check it out. One of the craziest videos we've had on the channel. This is going to be tough. It seems like there's going to be a lot of cards everywhere. So I'm going to try and pull these out. We have piles and piles of cards. Which seem like they are not damaged yet. That's good. Okay, guys, so as you see in front of you, there are tons of cards. This is a lot more than I realized, kind of like in terms of the number of cards. So I think that I'm going to just kind of go through it with you guys like this. So we have a sealed st starter deck. This is not even close to all the cards in here. As I said, it's dense, like it's literally, it's packed in here. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try and go through what I can go through and not make it like, you know, a two hour video because at this point i'm not sure how long it's going to be but we're just going to go through some stuff and you guys just check out these cards with me and we can have the reaction at the same time a lot of these cards i mean i as you guys know i've been wanting to put together some more current decks so a lot of these you know decent not necessarily meta i know i said meta in the blue eyes deck everyone got triggered i know it's not really meta but you know what i mean it's attempting to be meta but uh, apparently that's not the proper term you're supposed to say like uh not rogue but even farther than that i don't know i don't know what you say but there's all kinds of cool stuff in here for just random things like i mean evil storm exiton is a classic card from back in the day but it's no longer that good so starving venom i think is actually a pretty good card union carriers band i think link karibo very nice i just bought one of these for my uh, blue eyes deck which is nearly maxed out now guys there's a few things i don't have of course the blue eyes white dragons are not maxed but um this is pretty cool stuff i mean a lot of i mean look at all the foils this was this was in the uh, Noble Knight deck in uh, Duel Links. And then the Gravekeeper Spy, cool. Um, Foolish Burial Goods is always nice. Just It's fun because all of these are foils, which you don't see very often. What is this? SP1? What is that again? I can't remember. I can't remember, but that's cool. Um, we have some more. We have Gold Sarks. Galaxy Cyclone is a good card. I mean, just tons of great cards like Mount of the Bound Creator. I mean, the, I, most of these are not huge money cards, but they're definitely cool. Yeah, so I don't know if we're, I don't know how many we're going to go through. A lot of crush cards here, but we're definitely just going to, you know, check out some of this stuff. We got the, oh, look, Dark Magician, Secret Rare Gold. That's cool. The Deep Eyes, Lemon Magician, Summoner Monks, Plague Spreader, you know, stuff like Spellbook, the Blue Boy, the Legend, Solar Recharge for the Light Sworns, Monarch stuff. Cool. I mean, just tons of, tons of foil cards. Absolute tons. There is some big stuff in here as well. So, we will probably eventually not go through everything. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. These are very good goat cards that I do not have many of. So a couple gold versions is pretty cool. I set those over there real quick. Unending Nightmares. Uh, Chain Disappearance. Secret Rare. Omega Summon. Ancient Rules. Ah, if I was playing a different version of Blue Eyes, that might be decent. I'm uh, Junk Puppet. Okay, before we get too deep into the cards, we do have some play mats in here, which we might want to show. They're, they're the mini ones, which are pretty cool. Let's see if we can show these. Being mini actually really helps. So we got a battle pack, War of the Giants, battle pack two. Wait, that's way, it's not in the middle. Interesting. I guess that makes sense. You got to see your monster zones and stuff. Got the winged dragon of raw. That's the one, the battle pack two had the god card. So it makes sense. We just knocked some cards off, but that's a, that's a really cool mat. Not only that, we have another mat. So we have the... Battle Pack 3, Monster League. And then we've got the uh, Freya, is that her name? And then I'm not sure, another Pom Pom Girl there. And then we have one more mat. What is this? Oh, Forbidden Chalice right here. I know that card. That's a good one. Yu-Gi-Oh card.com. Battle Pack 3, Monster League. Okay, very cool. 
So three mini mats. I actually really like the mini mats. I know some people don't like them, but they're just a lot easier to like transport around. It's very cool. There's also another starter deck. We got a Link Strike starter deck, first edition. Very cool. On the bottom, <laughs> crushed under all this stuff was a couple of Allure of Darknesses. I know they're commons, but I know they're like $2, so that, that's a little painful. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going through this stuff because I think I've, I kind of know where everything is now, at least. Um, I think I know where the good, the like good, not necessarily good, but the bigger cards are. So we're going to go through. Okay, these are, look like a lot of commons, so we're not too interested in those. Um, there's pro There might be some good stuff in there, but it looks like starter decks. Yeah, the, the starter deck with the fairies. So we're not going to go crazy there and look at all those. Yeah, there's the uh, cover card, I believe. And yes, yeah, so we're not going to go crazy looking through those because there's a lot to look through. Okay, so this is just kind of uh, going to give you an idea of the volume here. So a lot, of, mostly foil cards here. Just a lot of like, not necessarily valuable foils, but just stuff. Here's a, wait, is that Astral Pack 4? That might actually be worth something. That's a random card there. Then we got a Zodiac, a Thorough Blade, Destiny in Dragoon, Dark in Dragon. Not Destiny and Dragoon. That's the ultimate rare we pulled. Sorry. I've done I did that in uh was it uh the Doomfire Dragon? Or I said Doomfire Dragon instead of uh Volcanic Doomfire in the special edition opening. Yeah, I do that all the time. Sorry guys. But we're not gonna go through all of this because the video will be very, very, very long. If in the future you would like to see videos where I go for like an hour and just go through all of this stuff, like when I buy a collection. Let me know, but I figure most of you guys would rather have like a 20 minute video. So we're just going to hop into like the big stuff in these deck boxes. So I'm going to move these out of the way real, real quick. Okay, so let's just hop into these because, you know, there's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. These will be a little bit more, you know, organized, I think. So it looks, this looks like a Valkyrie deck, which is actually really cool. We've got a full deck. Is this 40 cards? 12, 15, 18. I think I'm miscounting. Yeah, this is definitely a full deck. Okay. A Valkyrie deck. Cool. I wonder if it's any good. Who knows? Maybe we'll play it up. You know, get a little shuffle in. Just get... No, I'm just kidding. Okay. That's pretty cool to see. I don't know much about the Valkyrie deck, though. But it saves me from having to make my own deck for the Valkyries. So, uh, nice and easy there. Next up, we have... Oh, this is sick. Jinzo Layered. This is a... Tell me it's a Jinzo deck. Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon, Mud Dragon. Um, Last Warrior from Another Planet. Preda plant. Okay, it's hard to hold these because all this stuff. Let, let me let me uh, get these extra sleeves out. Okay, there we go. Phantom Knight's a break sword. So it's a Phantom Knight deck. Is it or ding? Or is it a deck at all? Is it just a bunch of stuff? Actually, it might just be a bunch of stuff. Okay, it's just a bunch of stuff. All right. Uh, Chimera Tech, Fortress Dragon, Cyber Dragon, Reinforcement. Okay, just a lot of just a lot of good stuff here. A lot of decent cards. Called by the Grave, limited to one now. Super Polys, a play set. Very good. Phantom Knight stuff, more Phantom Knight. So this looks like it used to be maybe a Phantom Knight deck. Or at least it was part of a Phantom Knight deck. I don't know. It seems like it was sort of a Phantom Knight deck with like some Jinzo and some machines. I don't know. I don't know what the deal with that one is. Okay, let's check this one out. Oh, the tour guide right at the front. Always a good start. Super rare tour guides. We've got three of those. Very good. Unchained Soul, Abominations. We got Unchained. So this looks, looks like an Unchained deck i think that's what they're the archetypes called right unchained twins yeah unchained yeah unchained soul of disaster another called by the grave yeah this definitely looks like another uh deck so this is actually really cool because you know i don't have to make decks i can just use them and play with them but i just bought one of these for the uh oh this is actually a really valuable card for um it's like a seven dollar card for the other deck that i have so this is actually really cool so a lot of cool stuff in there this looks maybe like a core i guess just like some of the stuff you need without the staples. Okay, we have this uh, black deck box here. What is inside? We have Guardian Slime, Solemn Strike, Secret Rare. Oh, I thought that was Bosch, but still, that's still a nice one. Uh, Solemn Warning, Solemn Judgment, Time Maiden, Foolish Burial, Time Maiden. I don't know what this one is. Time Lord, is it? What is the? What do these do? What is the archetype here? We got the uh, Spooky Sisters. Or the sp sister and spooky dogwood. There we go. Wing dragon. Oh, wing dragon raw. Okay. Cyber time. We got some crazy stuff going on here. Secret rare solemn strikes are awesome. Solemn judgment. We've got the time lord. A lot of these. What do these time lord guys do? I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look into them a little bit more. Oh, the prismatic monster reborn. Majesty fiend. Another spooky dogwood and guardian slime. That looks like a. I think that's a deck. It looks fun. We've got two more deck boxes here. Wow, that's actually uh, some pretty cool stuff in here. All right, this just looks like a bunch of random sleeves and stuff. 
Yeah, that's what that is. And the final, the big boy. This thing's like, uh, it says you, yo, one of you can't even see it. That's interesting. It reminds me of like a, an old couch from like the 80s. You know how they'd be like this kind of material? You know what I'm talking about? Was it the 80s? I don't know when the years were, but I remember them from back in the day. I mean, I wasn't alive in the 80s, but you know, like they were already old at that point, if you know what I'm saying. Oh no, this card's stuck in here. <laughs> Time out. We got to get this card out. Okay, we got the card out. Now let's go through these car other cards. Speaking of cards, we have Limiter Removal. That is a, um, what is this called? Hobby League. There we go. I was just Hidden Arsenal. That's definitely not it. First edition, Hell Palmer. We get a Gatling Dragon. Very cool. We're opening uh, Flaming Eternity tomorrow. So make sure you guys come watch that one. That's going to be pretty epic. Hopefully we'll pull that maybe Ultimate Rare. We've got a Ghost Rare. The first Ghost Rare I ever pulled right here. We also pulled this the other day in a live stream. So that's really cool. Jinzo, wait, that's PSV. I couldn't even see the foil from here. That was weird. This is definitely a reprint, but that's so cool. Forbidden Chalice is a very nice one. Creature Swap question. We got another Jinzo Lord. He's definitely a Jinzo fan, the guy we got this from. Ultimate Rare. We've got a uh, Kaiko Wing Dragon of Raw. I didn't know this was in here, actually. I didn't realize that. I don't know a lot of these cards, to be honest, but that, that were in here at least. Ultra Rare. So it's not the secret rare version, but still really cool. Wing Dragon of Raw Gold Rare. That is. That looks better, I think, honestly, to be, to be honest. We got ult, ultimate, ultimate Rare, Ancient Gear Golem. Oh, and then we've got the Lost Art stuff. Some really cool. The Lost Art set, I guess, right there. Left, right arm, right leg. Yep, full set. Call of the Haunted, Skill Drain. I mean, some really cool stuff. First edition Armatile. That is from Ancient Prophecy. That's actually, like, really valuable. And then here, I think, are the most valuable cards in the... I knew these were, were in here. I think these are the most valuable cards in the collection. Three Ultimate Rare First Edition Dark World Dealings from Strike of Neos. Very expensive cards. So, looks like they're in pretty good shape. A play set of ultis, First Edition. Very cool. Very, very cool. So, that's kind of like the, the big hitter. I mean, there's a lot of decent, like, decently big hitters, but those are probably the biggest. Dingirsu, this is from a uh, OTS pack, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, Gearsus, okay, I think... Isn't he supposed to get reprinted in the Mega Tens? Not sure. I think it's his first reprint. Lambda, this is usually worth something. Gamma is probably worth something because the rares are like $6. So these uh, Extreme Force are probably worth quite a bit. Ancient Chance. We got Imperms. Cool. Crystal Wing Synchro. We pulled a few of these out of Shining Victories. Three, actually. Ash Blossom Commons. Ash Blossom from Dude. Ash Blossom from Gold Series. We got the uh, Nightmare Corruptor Ible. I wonder why these are not sleeve. That's interesting. From Flames of Destruction. Um, several of them, several, several of them. There's a lot of them. Okay. So, uh, that's really the end, but it's, you know, we didn't see a lot of it, but th there's a lot of really cool stuff in this collection. And I'll try and pop up some prices for like those ultimate rares and, you know, some of the pretty good stuff. These I'm going to have to check out on my own and see, you know, what I can find in there. I'm sure there's a lot of decent cards in there, but, uh, the big stuff is kind of in that last one for the most part. And then there's some decks already kind of constructed, which is really cool. That's it for this collection video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoy buying collections that I can just like look through a bunch of awesome foils, even if they're only a couple dollars and it's a lot of fun. So if you guys have collections, you can offer them to me. I'm not necessarily going to buy all of them because I can't afford every collection that comes to me, but uh, if I see a cool one and the price is not crazy or whatever, then I will definitely be interested. So hit me up if you have them. I, I even like these newer ones now a lot more because I kind of appreciate the newer cards a lot more than I used to. So old stuff is obviously great. New stuff is awesome. I like ultis, ghosts. Like I pretty much like all Yu-Gi-Oh cards now. I used to only like old Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You guys knew this was like, ah, new stuff, whatever. And now it's like, I kind of just like everything, which I guess is a good thing since I have a Yu-Gi-Oh YouTube channel. So it's, uh, it's working out pretty well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe. We're going for 100,000. We're almost there. I'm pretty excited. Retro Pack 2 box opening. Retro Pack 1 booster pack heavy opening. Yeah, I know it's not on the live stream if you didn't see that. So pretty cool. Metal Raiders pack as well. It's going to be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!